I know it's been a bit, but I'm back. And in this video, I am finally going to show you all my epic, rad birthday haul. I just got a bunch of Funko Pops and I'm just going to show you all. I kind of made a mistake though and was a little impatient and already took them out of their boxes and put them on the shelf. You can see some boxes right there, so spoiler for those ones, but let's just get started. Um, this is probably my favorite one that I've gotten. I bought this for myself, which is Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales with the hoodie. And like, how could I not? Look how awesome this is. Also, this and one other one are the most expensive Funko Pops I bought, like I bought. Miles here was $110. Or no, this was $100. The other one was $110. But yes, this is the most money I spent. Or the second one, second most money I spent on a Funko Pop. And honestly, I think it was worth it because this figure is just awesome. And now that I showed you that, let's show you the pop I spent $110 on, which is Roger Rabbit. A very, very old pop. I think it came out in like 2013. And yeah, he was $110, but again, absolutely worth it. I love Roger Rabbit. And since I have Jessica too, he may be with his wife now. Like that. Aren't they cute together? But yes, uh, let's move on. Uh, next up that I was not expecting to find uh, was Billy Butcher. I found him at a little pop store at a mall. And unfortunately, this is just the normal version, not the one where he has blood all over him, but still. One of my favorite characters from the boys and just super super cool figure uh next i have let's see i have the crimson cow suit for miles morales and i honest honestly the suit itself is okay but the main reason i got this was because of the webs because honestly there are not a lot of spider-man figures where he's like swinging you know so to finally have a spider-man figure where he is swinging and this is just awesome and especially this is from the miles morales game which in my opinion has the best swinging in any spider-man game ever so yeah it's super super cool and let's see uh another one i bought for myself was this captain america oh, hold on one of the spider-men fell there we go captain america at the end of endgame where he finally old Mjolnir. Now this one's just sick. He has the half broken shield. He has like damage all over him, but the Mjolnir and the electricity, that is just freaking sweet. Super, super cool. And I'm really glad I got this from one of the most epic, most hype moments in MCU history right there. Uh, let's see. I have uh, two, three more Marvel ones actually. My next one was Deadpool in cake and I didn't know this was actually part of uh, I think it was Deadpool's 30th anniversary or 30th birthday whatever something like that but yeah I think this was a 7-eleven exclusive but I found him at the uh, Funko Hollywood store which is where I went for my birthday and got a majority of these pops and yeah I think this was just super super cool my first Deadpool one too so about time you know and yeah also wait hold on i just gotta appreciate the cake because that's 30 up front the black and red candles the fact that it's pink all the little deadpool logos along the side super super cool all right and next up we have halloween wanda from the wandavision show this is probably the only wanda pop i'm gonna get I like Wanda, but you know, she's not one of my favorite characters, like Spider-Man, obviously. But this was probably my favorite episode from the WandaVision show, and probably her best outfit in general, so obviously it's reminiscent of her outfit in the comics. And yeah, I just think it's pretty neat. And it's almost Halloween, so she has a little, and she has a little uh, trick or cheese bucket, which I think is super cute. And her little thing came off, I'll fix that. No worries. And the last um, Marvel pop I got for my birthday was the Hobgoblin. Now this one it came with a tea bundle that I got at the comic at a comic book shop. I cannot speak. Sorry, at a comic book shop. And yeah, it came with a T-shirt and this glow-in-the-dark Hobgoblin. Uh, I don't know much about Hobgoblin personally. 
but I do think it's nice to finally have a goblin uh, that's normal compared to my, I think you guys can see it, like the monster version of Green Goblin. So I have a normal version of him, it's pretty cool. And I cannot wait for the new No Way Home Pops and we can get a new Green Goblin figure because that I'm super excited for that. Especially um, Willem Dafoe Green Goblin, that's gonna be awesome. But yeah, as for my other ones, I have the Mark Hamill Dark Knight Joker. Uh, he was also at Funko Hollywood. From the box, I think it's like a, what's it called, a reprint? It's definitely not like an older box because it has like, I can tell from the uh, bottom of the box, it has like new, it has the more modern Funko stuff. But yeah, still a super cool figure. Uh, I only watched this movie once and it was like a year or two ago. I watched it super, super late. But yeah, a very, very iconic character. And yeah, my actually, yeah, now that I realize it, it's my only Joker pop. And I think he's a good Joker to have. Uh, next up, probably my favorite, like random one that I managed to find at a mall was Professor Poopy Pants from Captain Underpants. I saw him, like he was on the very, very top. He was like super high up. You had to like break your neck to look at the top because that store was insane. But yeah, I saw him and I, I needed him. I needed him. Unfortunately, they didn't have Captain Underpants because I would have gotten both. But I, <laughs> it's just this Professor Poopy Pants, dude. Super, super cool. He looks so good too. This is exactly how he looks in the movie and the books. So I am just super excited to have him in my collection now. And I am now on the hunt for Captain Underpants. Uh, let's see. Next, uh, pretty pretty normal one. We have uh, Mo from Wally. -E. Uh, nothing too crazy. He does look super, super good. Pretty much exactly what it looks like in the movie. And um, fortunately, I couldn't get the chase version of Mo, which is fine. I don't really like need the chases, but yeah. Super cute character and he goes with my even Wally up there, so that's where he is at. Uh, next up we have, oh, this is like a super surprise find at Funko Hollywood. Bill freaking Cypher, dude. Gravity Falls is literally like at least top five shows of all time. And the fact that I can finally have a Gravity Falls pop, not to mention like probably one of the best villains, my personal favorite villains is super, super cool. And I just think he looks neat. Like, it's super simple, but like, it, this is Bill Cipher. Like, you cannot deny that. Super, super cool. I love the bow tie, love the super long top hat. Super, super cool figure. And next is, it's kind of hard to explain, but the Giganotosaurus. This was a birthday present from one of my friends because of an inside joke. And the, because of the name Giganotosaurus, before the movie came out, I had a really hard time saying the name and I slipped up and said another word. I'm not gonna say what word, but I said <laughs> I messed up the name super bad. So now it's an inside joke. So she got me this as a memorium of our inside joke of the Giganotosaurus. I've been saying it right the whole time. And now we are at the final two. Um, let's show this one first. Next up, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Sully with Boo, and I also got him at Funko Hollywood. This figure is just super, super cute. The fact that he has uh, Boo in the Harryhausen's bat or the box, super, super cute. And it's hard to tell, but she has her tongue sticking out. Just a super cool figure. Now I need to find a Mike Wazowski one to have to go with this one. Yeah, super, super cute figure. And lastly, my last one that I got for my birthday haul was Majin Vegeta. Nothing too crazy, just a super, super iconic moment in Dragon Ball. Vegeta is one of my favorite characters, Then this moment is one of my favorite moments in Dragon Ball history. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I got for my birthday haul. Nothing like insane, like I didn't get like, besides the $100 pops, but still nothing like, oh, I got a chase, you know. But, oh, before I forget, I made a Doty Pub. Also at Funko Hollywood, the burger fell, but that's okay. I honestly don't know where to put him because my friends tell me to make him like a focal point, but I kind of want them as the focal point because 
you know, they're like more of my more valuable pops. So yeah, I just have them on top of my counter right here. And yeah, I think this perfectly capulates my avatar with my like red, well, it's a hoodie, but it kind of looks like a red shirt, kind of, and my jeans and my glasses. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the hair to look exactly like mine, which is like more poofy and curly. But I think for what it is, it looks pretty much like Doty. And yes, it's Doty, not not Doty, for for some of you who would mistake it for that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I got for my birthday. I know I made a video a long time ago, like what, a month or two now, showing off my Marvel Pops, and I said I would showcase my Disney ones off now. But it's been way too long, and I got way more Pops in the meantime. So from now on, I'll just make um, occasional like hunt, Funko Pop hunt videos and like showcase videos, kind of similar to this maybe talk about future ones coming out. But yeah, I just wanted to show off my birthday haul because I got a lot and frankly, um, I figured you guys want to see it. But yeah, my favorite ones that I got for my birthday has to be Into the Spider for Smiles, Roger Rabbit, let's see. Uh, oh, it's, I, I can't decide. I'll just try to fit them all here. Captain America with Mjolnir, scooch them on in. Uh, Professor Poopy Pants, you can go, you can go like right here, just slide them on in, and <laughs> and then Bill Cipher can go like right there, and then uh, hold on, we gotta, we gotta make room, we gotta make room, and then the Hobgoblin can go right there. I can't tell if he's in frame. Then you can go right there, and then Wanda can go right there, <laughs> and then. Uh, and then Deadpool can go right here. You can't even see him anymore. And oh god. And then Billy, Billy, Billy. There he is. Oh shoot. Okay, everything's falling. There he is. Okay. But yes, uh, all of. Oh shoot. Okay, this was a bad idea. But yeah, all of my figures I love. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and indulging in my stuttering. But yeah, that was my birthday haul. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.